how do I get the desire to have discipline I, I keep getting asked this type of question how do I get discipline or how do I want discipline or how do I maintain discipline and the answer it's it's a simple answer but obviously it's not easy and there's all, all kinds of little tricks and methods that people talk about and you know they have some merit you know maybe they do work these these things you know do the little things people say and, and wake up early I say that and write things down and take cold showers and t- tell everyone what you're going to do so broadcast it and make promises or, or make bets with with your friends of something that you don't want to lose and, and those things those ideas they're, they're cool I'm sure they're gonna have some impact and if they work for you that's that's awesome but but the fact of the matter is that the reason discipline is hard to maintain is because it is hard to maintain that's what makes discipline hard it's hard and if you hear me claim that discipline is easy for me then straight up that's just my ego talking that's what that is because I'm unfortunately just as human as everyone else and it is work to maintain the discipline that's what it is work holding the line maintaining the standard giving no slack none that's the discipline that's the discipline and it is hard and if there's one thing I would say that does make it easier it's to envision what it feels like when you're done what it feels like after you've worked out or you've held the line on your food intake or you've pushed through some monotonous project that you have to do and all those things when they're done they feel good and contrary to that envision what you will feel like later when you let the discipline slack you know the feeling feeling weak and defeated and you know that you're falling behind so get to know those two different types of feelings and ask yourself which one you want to feel in 10 minutes or in a half an hour when when the thing is done when the discipline has been implemented remember what that feels like and then remember that those minutes and those hours they turn into weeks and months and years and holding the line in those critical minutes will put you in an infinitely better place physically and mentally if you maintain the discipline so work through the weakness fight through the temptation hold the line hold the line maintain the discipline it is not easy but it is worth it because yes because discipline equals freedom yes discipline it 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 does start with waking up early it really does but that is just the beginning and I always say that discipline is the root of all good qualities but you have to absolutely apply it to things 
outside of just waking up early. It's it's everything. It's working out every day, making yourself stronger and faster and more flexible and healthier. Discipline is eating the right foods to fuel your system. It it's about disciplining your emotions so you can make good decisions. It's about having the discipline to control your ego so your ego doesn't get out of hand and control you. It's about treating people the way you would want to be treated and and doing the tasks that you don't necessarily want to do but that you know will help you or help your team. It's about facing your fears. It takes discipline to face your fears so you can conquer them. And that's what discipline is. Discipline means taking the hard road, the uphill road to do what's right for yourself and for other people. It's so often the easy path, the easy path that calls to us to be weak for that moment, to break down for that moment, to give in to the desire and the short term gratification. But the discipline will not allow that. The discipline calls for strength and fortitude and will. It won't accept weakness. It won't tolerate another breakdown. The discipline can seem like it's your worst enemy. But the reality is Discipline is your best friend. It will take care of you like nothing else can. And it'll put you on that path. The path to strength and health and intelligence and happiness. And most importantly, it'll put you on that path to freedom.